Hello, YouTube viewers. This is world famous folk artist Dennis Ramsey of Kempel, Nova Scotia, Canada. When in Kempel, come see Dennis Ramsey at 27 Canaan, C A N A A N Avenue, Apartment B, Kempel, K E N T V I L L E, Nova Scotia, Canada. I'll sell you a folk art painting or an abstract art painting. And they cost anywhere from $20 up to $300 each. Reach me by telephone at 902-365-5044. Today I'm rating wrestlers at their abilities and how good they were. Back in the 1970s at the Burwick Arena, I used to watch a lot of the great wrestlers of the day wrestle. Today we're rating Killer Carl Krupp. Between 1 out of 10. Mr. Fleming, I am the European champion, Mr. Fleming. I will squash the great Malumba. <laughs> Mr. Fleming, I am the European champion, Mr. Fleming. I am the best there is, the best there was, the best there ever will be. <laughs> That's just Killer Carl Krupp, anyhow. Killer Carl Krupp was good. He played the bad guy. He played like a Nazi German, and he used to do the goose step, and he had an eyeglass in his eye, but his name was Killer Carl Krupp. Mr. Fleming, I am the European champion, Mr. Fleming. I will squash the great Malumba. Uh, he's nothing but a disco dancer from Africa. Killer Carl Krupp is the best there is, the best there was, and the best there ever will be. Anyhow, Killer Carl Krupp on a 1 to 10 scale, I'm going to give Killer Carl Krupp a 10 out of 10. Yeah, for his wrestling ability. His finishing move was the German Claw. They used to put that on their stomach, the German Claw, and he'd squeeze like this. The German claw. And he'd put the pressure on the stomach and he'd squeeze. Killer Carl Krupp is a 10 out of 10, says folk artist Dennis Ramsey. Seen him a lot in a lot of great matches. I think it was one match I've seen. It was either Rudy K or Bobby K of the Leo Burke brothers. Um, I think it was either Rudy K or Bobby K. Took a guitar, smashed it over Killer Carl Krupp's head. Yes. Mr. Fleming, I am the European champion, Mr. Fleming. <laughs> but anyhow, Killer Carl Krupp, 10 out of 10. Good bad guy. I'll tell you a wrestling story. Me, Gary Berkman, and my friend Bev Salzman, my brother Paul Ramsey, and Dennis Ramsey, me, we went to see Killer Carl Krupp wrestle one night at the Burrick Arena. I believe he was wrestling Don Leo Johnson. And he has my friend Gary Berkman get over to the ring, started loafing off to Killer Carl Krupp. I'm going to get you and blah, blah, blah. You son of a bitch. You ain't no good and blah, blah, blah. And he has Killer Carl Krupp come waltzing out of the ring, grab Gary Berkman, put him up in an airplane spin. You know what an airplane spin is? That's where you go around and around. Sat Gary back down in his chair. And Gary kept his mouth shut the rest of the night. Didn't say a beep. Kept his mouth shut. Didn't mouth off to wrestler Killer Cal Krupp no more that night. We all sat there and laughed. Thought it was funny. Yeah. But anyhow, that's one of my wrestling stories. But the wrestlers back in the Grand Prix wrestling out at the Burry Arena were fantastic. And Killer Cal Krupp deserves a 10 out of 10. Says folk artist Dennis Ramsey. Have a nice day. Bye for now. But he used to finish them with the German claw. He used to put it on their stomach. The German claw. <sighs> Mr. Fleming, I am the European champion. Mr. Fleming, I am the best there is. Yes. He used to do the goose step. The German or Nazi goose step. And that high Hitler or whatever, like that arm up like that. And he'd do the goose step where you kick the leg up in the air. You know what I mean? Like, up. <clears throat> Anyhow, bye for now. So Killer Carl Krupp gets a 10 out of 10, says folk artist Dennis Ramsey. Have a nice day.
buy my paintings when in temple and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Always give me a thumbs up. Thank you. Have a nice day. Peace out.